Omaha, Nebraska, Sioux City, Iowa, Salina, Those are the Kansas. same storms, by the way, kind of impacting the coal. Right, exactly. That line started to come together. Notice there are some breaks in the clouds. When you look at Sioux City, Iowa, Britta, of course, some breaks in the clouds, some towering clouds off in the distance. That's going to be a concern. And where we've got that maroon layer, that third, level three out of five, the enhanced level, it's in areas that have been affected. And what we did with this map is we labeled where those tornadoes reports came in. And then you can see where the threat is today. You do have the chance for some strong winds, maybe up to 70 miles per hour, in some cases large hail. There is a chance for some tornadoes. Probably the likelihood of it happening in the same location, it is low, but nonetheless, you could have some in and around neighboring communities and it's heads up. As people are preparing today, Britta, you may have to take it in. While you're trying yes. to recover and, and at the very least uh, you're going to have rumbles of thunder like what we just saw with Nicole in Elkhorn. I mean that's the first time they've had rumbles of thunder since they had an EF3 tornado mm. tear their lives apart. So I mean the the impact there is palpable. It's real. Uh, there's a look at a severe storm. This is the line of storms that's actually impacting Nicole. Uh, we just triggered a second severe thunderstorm warning down to the south. Uh, so these are this is all moving towards Omaha. Uh, keep in mind multiple areas that were kind of ravaged by tornadoes along Interstate 29 and I-80. And now we have these severe storms that are starting to trigger. Here's the tornado potential for today. It's uh, two out of five, so a lower threat than what we had over the weekend. Again, the statistical likelihood of a tornado hitting a place like Elkhorn or Marietta again is very low. These are isolated storms and isolated occurrences. But with that said, we're going to have widely scattered thunderstorms, and a few of them will produce severe weather. In fact, hail is a more widespread threat, and some of these hailstones could be rather large, yeah. as well as wind gusts that could be stronger than 75 miles per hour. You put that over a debris pile, yeah. and you have a real concern for safety. Yeah, blowing debris, blowing around, or tarps that have been put over maybe some of the buildings that can be salvaged or part of it, that'll be the concern. You that would be a higher likelihood winds. of occurrence. You yeah, know, a, a exactly. really strong thunderstorm moving over uh, a community that just had a tornado roll through. Yeah, exactly. We'll watch these throughout the afternoon and early evening hours as well uh, throughout the day.